Hey, what's happening everybody? This is Robert the Leather Cowboy Muhammad right here, Premier Leather Crafters, again with another video. It's been a minute since I've did, done one, but I'm actually retracting an earlier bit, a video that I did about burnishing, and I, I think I told you guys how much I'm in love with the burnishing wax that, um, that I later found out that is still available through... Solari Natural Wax Company uh, in Bronzeville, Tennessee. You still can get this. Tandy doesn't carry it anymore, but it's still available to purchase. But, hold up, stop right there. I'm going to retract that video and some other things that I've learned. Um, actually, not retracted. I still stand behind the, uh, the Solari's brand. Beautiful, it only comes in two colors, black or brown. Um, but what if you're working on a belt that's saddle tan and you want the edges of your belt to be saddle tan? You, you can't tone down the burnishing wax. Um, what if you're doing a belt that's in ox blood or it's blue or whatever color it may be, you can't burnish those ends with the Solari's brand unless Solari has come up with a some more other colors but however anyway let me tell you about this this new information that I'm going to give all of the subscribers out there as well as uh, potential new crafters that are trying to learn this this craft uh, as well as maybe inform some older intermediate or advanced crafters out there um, about saving them a lot of money um, what we're going to talk about today is uh, uh, smoothing and burnishing the edges of your pieces by the most plentiful resource that's on God's green earth. And that plentiful resource is right there in your home. You don't have to go out and buy it. Actually, you're already paying for it anyway. And we're back to the good old water. Good old water. You can also put this on with a sponge uh, that can and be utilized just as well. But now, I'm not going to talk down on the gum tackament that's out there. A lot of crafters are using the gum tackament. A lot of crafters out there are using the edge coat. Uh, all of those are remarkable, remarkable products. Not just Tandy puts them out there, but uh, I'm pretty sure any leather supply store put them out there. But, again, you guys know me. I'm trying to save you a lot of money. I save you money. Maybe a lot, depending on how much crafting you do. But I'm trying to save you some money, as well as get you the same identical results. Now, and this is how I found this out. Okay. I was working on a belt for a customer which I've been playing around with a lot of different techniques, a lot of different stamping uh, things and stuff to do like that. And actually, this little gloss that you see here is actually from the resisting that I've done because I'm going to take and make the edges of the borders of the belt a different color. But that's not what I wanted to show you. Earlier today, um, I decided to round off my edges just like I normally would, just like I would hope you normally would. And I, I want you guys to see this. You see how rough that is right there on that side? See how rough that is? Okay, now, look at that. Ah, look at that. That is beautiful. And it's you can see a little glossy shine depending on how the way the light hits it. But and I'm trying to do this, so if, I, if, I'm, if it looks like I'm looking off camera, I'm trying to make sure that the camera is getting it. But you guys can see that. Now, well, how did you do that, cowboy? I'm going to tell you how I did it. And the wonderful thing it is, you can either get you an edge slicker. You can order these from Tandy. It already comes equipped with a hole in there where you can attach a, a half-inch bolt and some quarter washers to it. Washers. And it fits perfectly on the interior part of that. You can run your bolt through here and attach this to your drill. And you'll tighten that up with the nut on the back side of that bolt to make sure your washers hold it in place. And then you can turn your drill on and you will just slick the edges of this with the drill pressure. Now, the spinning of your edge slicker and 
the velocity and the heat will automatically cause your edges to burnish and become slick and that's just with water so I decided to do this video to show you exactly how I did it now I didn't do mine with the drill and I probably can because now I know that it'll actually give you the same results so what I'm going to I actually use my edge slicker my wooden edge slicker here and what we're going to do what I'm going to do I'm going to show you exactly how I done this just going to take the water and I want you guys to I'm just spraying the making sure that I do the edge right side I'm just spraying the edge of this now you can actually take a a, a sponge if you like and get it really really wet and you just want to coat the edges of your pieces, be it a belt, a wallet, whatever have you. Now, I will say this about the gum tackerman and the edge coat. If you're merging two pieces together, now that's when I would recommend you utilize this. Um, when you're trying to bond two pieces so you can get rid of the seam in between two separate pieces that you either glue together or have laced or sewed, sewn together. But this specifically works just as well on one piece. And we're just going to take our edge slicker. And I want you to see the before, how it's rough. It's just been edge slick. I mean, uh, edge rounded. This is the opposite side. So I want to make sure that the camera sees this. So if you see the belt on my left side, which is over here, your right. And this is the raw side, the flesh side. On my on my right, the grain side is on the left. Okay, so I've already done this side. So I'm going to flip this over so you guys can see this. So the grain side is on my right, flesh side is on my left. Okay, and we're just going to slick this down with just good old elbow grease and some good heat and friction. Uh, now I'm only going to do about 10 inch section on this for the sake of time. But I want you to, you guys to see how beautiful this works. This is just awesome. And it didn't cost me anything. Now the color that I'm going to tan or uh, 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 antique this belt is going to be a saddle tan. Which I'm going to tone it down a little bit to give it a little more natural color. Get it more close to the natural. But hey, check this out. You guys see that? Can you see the slickness in that? I think you can kind of see the shine a little bit on it. But that is smooth as my marble slab right there. And you can actually do this on both sides. Just find the right groove. Oh man, that is beautiful. And what got me so excited about this, and I don't think you guys understand, what got me so excited about this was I didn't have to use any of my existing product. So now, even if I continue to purchase burnishing uh, wax or tack gum tackament or the edge coat, even if I continue to purchase that, I can now prolong that use because I'm not using it on my belts or my one pieces anymore. My belts, my keychains, um, uh, 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 a lot of the, the cuffs and the bracelets, my motorcycle mask. I'm not using my edge coat or my gum tackament on those pieces because those, those are all one solid piece now me myself I, I do not line the interior part of my belts now that is a business uh, thing more or less than it is for decoration I know there's a lot of crafters out there they line the interior parts of their pieces you know but when my clients come and purchase from Premier Leather I want them to actually see that is real leather that they buy. It, it's not a. It, you can get two and three part belts from department stores, and, and I think we did a video on that uh, back some time ago. Um, and that's the difference. As a leather crafter, you want your clients to know that they are getting a hundred percent all good old USD grade cowhide. That's what I love about it. And then over a period of time, this interior part of the belt is going to start slicking itself down anyway with the continuous putting in and pulling out of the pants. So you don't have to worry about, I say, I say, you don't, I, I don't do that. I don't uh, 
line the interior part of my belts. But man, this saves you at least 20 bucks per quart and possibly more than that if you buy it by the gallon. And I think you can just get the edge coat and the gum tackement in the quart sizes. I'd have to check my catalog to see just how much that is. But look at that. And that's, again, the, the finished side is on my right, on your left, but you can see that glaze right there. And that's just with good old drinking H2O. Yes. And you get the same gloss shine and result as you would if I had to put gum tackament or edge coat on there. Now, I'm going to follow this up. Once I get the, the belt completed, when I get ready to start antiquing this and I get my, my color tone, the right um, shade that I want, I'm going to follow that up with the edges. I'm going to do the edges at the same time. So when I get ready to tone that down, it's all going to blend together. So now, I don't have a separate a separate uh, coloration for my edges as I would the face side of the belt. So it's all one and through. So hey, this is the Leather Cowboy right here, Premier Leather Captors, uh, Leather Crafters in Alabama, Robert Muhammad. You guys stop in. I appreciate you for chilling with me these 10 and a half minutes. I see you guys on the other side. Keep crafting and grind until you don't have to introduce yourself. Peace.